नित्यस जी गुड आफ्टरनून एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू नित्या एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू ओके ओके सो गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन so in this session we we'll start with clock and calendar okay so clock will study about let's say in some time is given and let's say they are asking what is the mirror image of this let's say you have 330 and if i ask you if you place that clock in front of mirror then what will be mirror image and then we have water image also and let's say if i give certain time let's say if i ask you 824 now what is the angle between hour end and minute end okay so such kind of question will be doing then calendar is very important if i give you any date let's say 15th august 1947 what was the day independent day from sunday to saturday i ask okay independence day okay then when we celebrated our first uh, republic day so that kind of question will be doing in this clock and calendar session okay so first we start with the very basic then we'll move to the Cons. Then we will move to the problems. Okay. So first of all, all of you see there are two types of clock, right? So first of all, let's say all of you have seen the clock, right? This one. So in clock we have numbers from one to twelve, right? So this is where we have twelve, three, then six, then we have nine, right? And here I have one, two, four, five, then seven, then eight, ten. And eleven, right? And here we have one more. That time you see some something like this, right? Okay. So there are two types of clock. This one is called the analog clock, right? And this one is called the digital clock. So, but whatever our discussion will be, we'll be discussing about the analog clock only, right? So there are two types of clock in in this clock we have numbers written from 1 to 12 okay and here we have we'll be showing the numbers okay so here we have minute end second end and hour end right but here digitally we'll be showing the number first two digits this represents the hours and this represents the minute very good and this will represent the seconds okay so we have two types of ends first one is this is called the analog okay and this is called the digital okay so we have two types of clock first we have analog clock another one is digital clock clear now let's you see so the in analog clock we have three types of end right so if i give you let's say some timing being shown let's say this is 12 this is 5 now what is the time 5 o'clock right and let's say if i draw one more let's say this one okay so here we can say let me use some different color so let's say you have this for this one i'll use the different color so let's say this one so there are three types of hand right so if i talk about this green one green hand this is called the minute end or hour end this green one minute end okay minute end okay minute hand if i talk about this one blue one hour end right and if i talk about this one that is a black that is the largest that is called the if i talk about this one black that is the second hand clear so there are there are three types of hand minute hand hour hand and second hand so which is the largest hand which hand has is having the second then comes minute then comes hour so based on the length if i say first of all second then minute and then hour so far clear no doubt okay now if i ask you if i if i give you any any time you can tell let's say if i ask you what is this time 1230 right this is one way of saying the time if i ask you what is this time 5:45 right this is another way of saying the time okay but when i am saying 
so here i am not mentioning 545 which time i am talking about am or pm we have to mention right so it means if i am saying 12:30 pm it means i am talking about the afternoon right if i am saying 12:30 am it means somewhere midnight right night time i'm talking about so it means either you have to use am or pm so when we use the am am will use from we, we can say morning 12 am i mean that is midnight to 11:59 am right so it means we once just the afternoon starts and when do we use the pm pm is used from afternoon to 12 pm to night 11:59 right this is why we use but let's say if i don't want to use am and pm another words if i want to tell the time let's say you can tell what is this time 7:15 pm it means here i am talking about the evening 7:15 right so another way i can tell the time yes no 7915 that is also accepted but if i am telling so there are three types of word we use first is half past another is quarter past another one is quarter to not half to quarter to so how do you use when i have, let's say if i have to show 6:30 in the morning so what will i say it's is half past 6 but so far full information is not given because which time i am talking about right when i am using half past quarter past that time i am supposed to tell the time also whether am i talking about evening morning or afternoon so let's say if i want to tell this one so how will i say this is this is half past 6 in the evening right half past 6 in the evening let's say if i have to tell this one then how will i say if this is half past 12 in the morning or midnight you can tell right midnight almost another one let's say if i ask you 5:30 am now what will you say half past 5 in the morning okay next if i tell you let's say if i say 315 pm now how do you say and one is simple 315 pm another way quarter past 3 in the evening right okay then tell me what is this 12 am so this one will say midnight right and if i have 12 pm then noon okay very good if i say now how do you read this one 6 not quarter to 5 right because quarter to 6 it means 15 minutes is left in 6 so this will say this is quarter to 6 in quarter to 6 in evening right this one is fairly simple we have seen now we we'll move to something else this one is fairly simple now let's say let's move to the mirror image and water image right mirror image all of you know let's say if i have a clock this one if i place in front of the mirror then here i am able to see five and in mirror some different image will be there right so first we'll see mirror image then we'll see the water image okay so is there any difference between mirror image or water image or both will be same let's say if i put this in front of the mirror some different let's say this is showing five in water then mirror image if i take then what time it will show 7 o'clock right this is five then it will show 7 o'clock but if let's say some water is there if i observe this image in the water then what time it will show my question is is water image and mirror image same or they will give the different answer different answer okay nitya pradeep good afternoon are you able to follow so far is clear hmm? okay now we'll talk about the mirror image so this is the basics we have discussed second and minute hour all these basic things right these things already you might know so now we'll discuss about the water image and mirror image i have given the formula also right for water image if you remember sorry this uh, mirror image right so first of all let's talk about the mirror image mirror image so it means that let's say if i have a clock so mirror image i am talking about let's say 12 3 6 9 and let's say this this one is 8 so now what's the time you can say it's 8 8 o'clock if i place this clock in front of the mirror then what will happen what time it will show 4 o'clock it will show okay so now the thing is this one is pretty simple time yes come in 
so this one is pretty simple time so we can easily tell let's say if i give some time something like this let's say 1143 then what will be the mirror image right for that i gave two formula this one if this is 8 o'clock then what will the time here 4 o'clock right so you can say that 12 will be here and 8 will come this side so here 9 then 8 here 3 so this will be 4 o'clock right so now here we have two types of so first of all if my time if the time whichever is being asked lies between we can say 1 2 we can say 1 2 or we can say something like 1 to 10 59 okay so 1 o'clock to 10 59 okay if my time lies between 1 to 10 59 then what will i do 12 or i can say 11 60 it will be easy if you separate 11 60 is nothing but 12 only right this is 11 and 60 is 12 so it means in this case what will subtract will subtract from 11 60 next if my time starts from 11 to next is 12 59 so in this case what will you do this 23 60 similar thing right 23 60 is nothing but 12 only right so now if i give a time then you tell me what will the mirror image let's say if i give what will be the mirror image of 530 mirror image of 530 so how will you subtract you will subtract from 11 60 right 630 mirror image of 220 this one what is the mirror image of 530 how will you find you will subtract from this one right 1160 530 so what will come 0 3 630 mirror image of 220 mirror image of 220 again you will subtract from this so 1160 minus 220 then what will happen 940 okay let's take one more question mirror image of 813 813 mirror image of 813 then what will happen again still you subtract from with this one right so you'll subtract 1160 so what will happen 47 and this will be 347 clear so exact answer will get okay so next we'll take let's say you have now let's say you have 1249 now what will the mirror image 1249 so this time we'll subtract from this one right so 2360 1249 so what will the answer one one clear yeah. so it means that when your time is from 1 to 1059 so you can use this one 1160 no issue no? this one you can use for 11 something also let's say okay this thing you can use for uh, let's say okay one second one second this one you can use up to 1159 because anyway you will be subtracting from 11 so the only thing is the top number has to be greater right so up to 1159 you can use and this one you can use from 12 to 1259 let's say if i give one more example then let's say let's say we have 12 9 so what will the answer what is the mirror image of 12 9 so this time we'll subtract from so we'll subtract from this one so we'll say 12 23 60 minus 12 0 9 so what is the answer 11 51 clear so it means that when my number when my number lies from 1 to 11 59 i'll subtract from 11 60 why am i doing it because i just want to make that number is greater so that if some negative is coming then again i have to add right so the what am i doing is if my number is lies from 1 to 11 59 so i'll subtract from 11 60 if my number lies from 12 to 12 59 then i'll subtract so you see in this one this one all time has been covered right 1 to 11 59 i'm covering then what is what is left only 12 to 1 is left right so 12 to 1 i'm covering here clear so how do we find the water image sorry how do we find the mirror image so we either subtract from 11 60 or either subtract from or subtract from 12 30 so 23 60 depending on whether my number lies from 1 to 11 59 or number lies from 12 to 12 59 is it clear online student is it clear pardeep is it clear water image is clear right sorry mirror image is clear okay so let's say i'll give you two questions now tell me let's say you have 515 9 13 or oh, let's say 
1254. Now tell me the mirror image of this one. First one. 6. 45. Perfect. 913. 2. 47. Last one. 1254. 1106. Clear? Anyway, you can see the sum of this has to be 60. And sum of this has to be 11. Or here you can see sum of this has to be 23. Here it has to be 60. Reverse way if I ask you, let's say if the water image is given. This time, so far what we are doing is from left to right we are given. We are given a time and we are finding the mirror image. So this time we can find from right to left also. Let's say mirror image is given. Then how can we find the water image? Let's say if water image is given. Let's say water image is given. That is, let's say, let me take something. Sorry, sorry. Uh, both, so, so far we are talking about mirror image only. Water image is different. Okay. Let's talk about mirror image. If the mirror image is given 11, 5, 23, then what is the actual time? So what we have to do? You know, this is 11, 23. So there is only two possibility. Either we have got this one from subtracting from 11 something. So that is not possible. Because here 11 we are getting. It means we might have subtracted from this from 2360, right? There is two possibility. How we find the mirror image? Mirror image we find either subtracting from 2360 or 1160. So this time we might have got either from this subtraction or this subtraction. But I can say this one is not possible because 1160, 1123, it means it is coming 11 only. So what will I do? It means if the mirror, this one is 1123. So this side what has to come here or here some number will come. We know the sum of this one and this one. Minute has to be 60, right? Here also you see 15 plus 45, 16. 6 plus 50 or 16. If this is 23, then what will come here? 47. It means this is 47. If this is 11, then what will come here? 37. Okay. If this one is 11, then what will come here? 12. Right? It means that when what, sorry, mirror image is given, then you, likewise, you can find the actual image also, or actual time also. Let's say next mirror image, if I give, next mirror image you have. That is, let's say you have, let's say mirror image 540. Now find the actual time. Now what you what you know is 514. If we got this subtraction from this one, right? So this, so this time I have 514 here, and here I have some time, and here I have. So this is 14. Then what will come here? 46. Very good. If this is five, then what will come? Six. It is clear, right? So. So this way we can easily find the mirror image. Either actual image is given and then they are asking to find the mirror image. So we can apply this method. If what, sorry, image is given and they are asking for actual time. So what will predict? Either we'll see the sum of minute has to be 16 and this sum of hours can be 23 or 11. So that depends how we got this formula, right? So this, this is where if you apply this formula also, they say 5. 14 if a in the this one if you want to make it is 23 then you have to add 18 18 is nothing but 6 only right are you getting my point 12 plus 6 18 is so you can apply this formula also but the only thing sum of minutes will be 60 and sum of hours will be either 23 or 11 is it clear online students is it clear is it clear Pardeep, is it clear? Nitya. Next we have that is water image. Okay, next we have water image. So what is the difference between mirror image and water image? In mirror image, what we are doing is we can say, yeah, kind of invert. So we can say that water image or mirror is kind of same, but here the position of mirror will change. Here what we are doing is, let's say this is my clock and let's say this is 12 and this is 3 let's say this is time 3 so to find the mirror image i am placing the mirror here so now what will the answer 9 o'clock okay so this will be 9 o'clock if i place the mirror like this this is nothing but the water image right this this way water image means i am putting this this water is here so in place of water i can replace with this one also now if i find that what will happen 12 will come down 3 will be here so what will be time 
थ्री थर्टी राइट एवरीवन गॉट इट दिस ट्वेल्व इफ आई टेक द वाटर इमेज इन ट्वेल्व विल कम हियर सिक्स विल बी देर एंड दिस विल बी थ्री सो वॉट विल द टाइम थ्री थर्टी इट मीन्स दैट इफ आई एम प्लेसिंग द मिरर हियर देन दिस इज नथिंग बट मिरर इमेज इफ आई एम प्लेसिंग दिस वन देन दिस विल बी वाटर इमेज हियर आई एम लुकिंग फ्रॉम द साइड हियर आई एम लुकिंग फ्रॉम दिस डाउन साइड क्लियर सो देर टू वे so mirror mirror image is this one or water image is this one right so here you can consider water also but i am telling the how we are seeing from here we are seeing from the left to right i am standing left and i am seeing front what will happen here what from the top i am seeing in a mirror so that is nothing but the water image this one is the mirror image it is clear mirror image concept is clear mirrors from left to right and water image from top to bottom clear okay so now we'll see how to find the this time okay so first of all we'll see let's say our time so this time we'll care about only minute let's say we have minutes so this is case first we have minutes let's say my minutes is from 0 to 30 okay minutes is 0 to 30 time can be anything if this is given then what will i do i'll subtract from 18 30 so what will i say i'll subtract from Subtract from eighteen thirty. It means that let's say if I give you some time, let's say if I ask you what is the mirror water image of this. So what you do? You subtract from this one. So what what will be our answer? Eighteen thirty five fifteen. So what will the answer? So eighteen minus five thirteen. So what is thirteen? You can say twelve. Then thirteen. Thirteen is nothing but it is corresponding to one. So what will the water image? One fifteen. Is it clear? Let's say if I give you one more example. If I ask you what is the water image of three forty eight? Now tell me. Sorry, no. Okay, make it eighteen. Water image of three eighteen. Then what will happen? This you will subtract from eighteen thirteen. Clear? So what will happen? Eighteen thirty minus three eighteen. Right. So what will come here? Fifteen twelve. Right. But what is fifteen? Fifteen is corresponding to two. Right. So three. Twelve, one, two, three. So this is nothing but three, twelve, right? Now, but the question is, let's say the time is not. You see, here we are only putting the constant on minute only. Minute is less than zero to thirty. I can apply this formula. But the thing is, let's say I'll erase this. Next, we have that is, let's say we have minute is from. Thirty to sixty. Sixty will not be possible because if it's sixty, then next, then let's say if I have five forty-eight. Now tell me what will the water image? Six forty-five. You take. Let's say you take simple. Six forty-five. Now tell me what will be the water image? Six forty-five is given. So what will be the water image? Logically, if you think you can do because simple cases we can do logically. Rest of the question we have to apply the formula also because minute wise it is very difficult. You see here, if I ask you six, where will be six forty five? So I'll say this will be six and this will forty five. Then what will happen to this one? This is forty five, right? Forty five minute, or I can say this will be nine and six. Then if I see like this, then what happens? Then this what will be the time? Eleven forty five, kind of. Now you see what is happening here. Logic, it will take some time, or sometimes we may we may get confused also, right? You see what will happen. This will go here, then this will go here. So eleven forty five, clear? Everyone got it? From but twelve forty five will get, you know? How twelve forty five? Yeah, twelve forty five will get because this is if this is six forty five now, then this will be between six and seven. Got it? Because if it's six forty five, then this will be between six and seven. So six and seven, then this will go between twelve and one, right? So this will be twelve forty. So here, what we do? First, first case is clear to everyone. When the minute is less than thirty, or we can say zero to thirty, then what? We, what we subtract from? We subtract from eighteen thirty. When this case is given, we'll subtract from seventeen ninety. We subtract from seventeen ninety, right? So we'll subtract from seventeen ninety. So what is doing is, let's say you apply this one here. So seventeen. Ninety minus six forty-five. Now try to find the answer. Eleven forty-five. Eleven forty-five. We are getting right. One second. 
11 45 is it 10 5 9 minus 4 11 40 5 but this would work let's say we'll try again let's say we see if we'll analyze logically then let's say what happened this 9 will come 6 7 will be here so this will huh? this will this is correct only because it won't reflect yeah that is okay you see in the watery maze what will happen sorry mirror case of left thing will appear on the right right thing will appear on left but in case of water this will come here only it won't take the image of this so this will come here only right is it clear you see when we'll take the mirror image now then what happens it takes two times of reflection one we are reflecting again we'll take the reflex here what water image it is not working like a mirror the mirror case i just explained ki from which point we are seeing the picture so here what is happening is if this is coming here then what will happen it will go just between 11 and 12. is it clear let's say something is like this if let's say th this is the picture if you see this is vertical if you tilt it like this in water image also like this not like this is it clear let's say this is water okay and let's say there is some object like this so this will appear in water like this if you do like this so here also it will be like this only right it means that if this picture is like this then what will happen it will go up and it will be like this it means it won't change the orientation or the angle right if it's like this then again it will go so it means it won't take one more reflection so here we can say the answer will be 1145 or simply you can remember the formula what we are doing is if the minute is less than 30 0 to 30 will subtract from 1830 if you minute is from 30 to 59 then we'll subtract from 1790 okay now tell me let's say the time is 5 30 now tell me what will the water image 5 30 12 right is it clear so this way we can easily find that but now i'll give the some time and you tell me the water image and mirror image okay so same time you have to tell the water image and same time you have to tell the mirror image okay so i'll give some times so you just tell me the water image and mirror image one second, one second. which time 5 30 okay we'll find why 5 30 what is happening so we'll subtract from 18 30 so what will happen here so 5 30 right so this is what happened 0 0 18 minus 5 13 13 nothing but one o'clock so definitely one o'clock only you check also here also if you try this will be 12 this is 3 4 5 6 you see where 5 will go 1 only in place of 1 and what will happen to 6 1 o'clock perfect this will be 1 o'clock clear so you just apply the formula you'll get the answer okay now i'll give some let's say 344 i'm giving the time you find that here i'm writing a mirror image here write the water image i'll give the time you just try to find 518 then i'll give 11 12 954 then i have 10 15 then i have 540 all of you try to find the mirror and water image time is given online students just a minute is, is it clear so far nitya hari is Okay, all of you try to find the water image and mirror image. Yes. 16, okay. Water image? 4? 3? 15? This one? Okay. 46, 56. 46 okay then something you are getting confused because when i am asking the first all of you do one thing first you find the mirror image if you get confused you will forget which one to subtract from for mirror image what we do either we subtract from 1160 or 123060 so in all cases you can see we'll subtract from 1160 only so subtract from 1160 and find the mirror image first first finish this one this one 816 518 642 here 00 00 means what you can subtract from 20 23 also if you are getting 00 1248 here 206 here 145 here 
620. Is, is there any doubt to anyone? This one is clear, right? So what we are doing is, how am I getting this time from here to here? What I just did is, I subtracted from 1160. If I'm getting some absurd result, then what will I do? Here you see. So in that case, I'll subtract from 2360. So in that case, I'll subtract from 2360. Is it clear? So what, how I got 642? 2360 minus 518. So I'll get this one. So, or I can subtract from this one also. If I subtract this one, this one, here I'll get 18. But you know, 18 is corresponding to 6 only, right? Is it clear? 18 is corresponding to 6. So, mirror image is clear, right? No doubt. Now, let's move to the water image. In water image, what we do? If the minute is less than 30, then what we do? We'll subtract from 1830. If minute is more than 30, 17, 19. Now, you apply. First one, which one you will subtract from? This one. This one is? 14 means 2. 14 is 2, right? So, 2, 2, 2 46. Second one, you will subtract from this. 140, 42. Third one, 7, 48. Last one, fourth one, 906. 845. Last one, 540, 120. Second one, you are getting doubt. You see, I am talking about this time, 518, so I have to subtract from this one, right? You subtract, 30 minus 18 is what? 12, 12, right? And this one is 13. So 13 is corresponding to 1, so this has to be 112, right? Rest are clear. Is there any doubt to anyone, how can you find the mirror image and water image? Third one also wrong. 12 to... This one is clear only. Some doubt is there. You see, you try this one again. So 11.22, again we'll do this from 11.20.12. So this will come 18 and this will come 7. So 7.18, right? Right? You see, to finding the water image, we need this sum to be 30, not 60. Clear? So I think here also you have done some mistakes. Try to find this one again. Find the water image of 954. How will you find? Subtract from 1790, right? Because in case of mirror image, we need the sum of minute is 60. But in case of water image, we need the sum of sum of minutes is 30 minutes, right? Here you see 30. So here you see 954 is there. So what I have to do? I'll subtract from 1790. So I'll subtract from 1790, 954. So what will come here? So 836. Now what will come here? 10, 50, 15. One second. Online students, Harish, Nitya, are you able to follow? Srinik. Okay. So now tell me the water image of 10, 15. 8, 15. Clear? Now this one, 540. Subtract from 17. 1250. Now all of you try. It is clear. Everyone got it. So, so far there is no doubt you can easily find the water image as well as you can find the mirror image. Okay. I'll give one reverse question in which I'll just give the water image. Now you tell me what will be the actual picture or actual time. Let's say the water image is given. Water image is 1245. Now tell me what is the actual time. Water image is given. When water image can be? 545. Is there any one more possibility? Is there any one more possibility? Water image given 1245. And here we have 545. So this one is okay. Is there any one more possibility? Actually, we started with 1719 also, right? So from here also, you are getting this one. If you try from 1813, what you are getting? From here, you won't get it because this one is 45 only, right? So there is only one possibility. Water image is given. So you'll get the actual time is 545. Clear? Is it clear? Next, we'll see about the angles made by. Let's see if I give you any time. Let's say 644. If I give you 644, okay. First, let me ask. Let's say it's 3 o'clock. What is the time? Bit, what is the angle between minute 90 degree? But if I ask you 3, 4, then what is the angle? 
it is difficult to find right here we can easily see it both are perpendicular if i see something like this both are if i ask you what is that angle at 6 o'clock 180 degree easily find what is the angle at 12 o'clock 360 degree or 0 degree we can say like both are coinciding each other right but let's say some other time is given let's say if i asking or right, 1238 it is little difficult to find right so and, and we need actual actual angle also right so if you are given the time then we should be able to know how can we find the angle between minute end and second end this one is clear so before that we need to answer which is the fastest hand and what is the angle they cover in one revolution right so in this any doubt is there mirror image water image clear next we'll see let's say we have first of all let's talk about the minute end minute end minute end in one revolution how much time it takes to cover one revolution 12 hours or 1 hour 1 hour right it means to complete a round let's say minute end is here let's say this is 1 o'clock okay so then to next 2 o'clock what will happen to this this will complete one revolution right it means that one revolution how much time it take in one revolution how how what is the angle made by that 360 degree so it means can i say 360 degree it will make in one hour right and what is one hour equal to 60 minute so i'll say 60 minute my minute hand will make 360 degree so one minute how much angle it will make 6 degree or what 6 degree it means one minute it will make 6 degree let's talk about the second end second end now what is happening to this one one revolution how much or i i can say one round how much time it will take one minute one minute in one minute what is the angle made in one revolution 360 degree so i'll say this in one minute it will move to 360 degree let's talk about the hour end okay hour end in one round how much time it will take 12 hours right if it's a one then 2 1 hour it will take 2 to 3 1 hour so it will take 2 12 hours so 1 hour how one round how much time it will take uh, sorry what is the angle 360 degree 360 degree it is making in 12 hours right so so 12 hour so 1 hour how much angle it will make 360 by 12 right divided by 12 so 1 hour how much angle it will make 30 degree and what is 1 hour equal to 60 minute right so if i want to find in 1 minute how much angle it will make that will be half degree so from here you can understand second end in 1 hour 1 minute it is moving 360 degree it is moving only 6 degree it is moving 1 1 by 2 degree so which is the fastest hand then second this is the fastest hand it means the speed of second hand is this is greatest than this one and this one this is the slowest and this is will lie in middle and this one is the fastest right so we have got we second hand is the fastest then we have minute hand and then hour and it is the slowest okay so far it is clear now the only thing is now we have to learn how can we find the angle between any time so this one is the basic we have covered now we have to see what is the time this one is clear now i'll give the formula so that you can find the time okay so first of all you need to understand this one let's say you are given any time let's say this one is 3 this one 3 thing okay so there are two types of angle made one is if i ask you what is the angle made between minute end and hour end that will be this one right so we always take the angle clockwise so let's say if i say this angle is theta but another way if i ask you what is the angle made between hour end and minute end then we'll consider this angle so what is this angle 360 minus theta so whenever in the question it is asked so you have to ensure which angle they are asking maybe some maybe you got this angle theta let's say you got 15 degree but they are asking this one that any anyway, your answer will be wrong so you have to pay attention what they are saying they are asking the angle between minute end and hour end or hour end and minute so you need to understand whether first they are mentioning hour to minute or they are mentioning minute to hour is it clear so there are two types of angle will be made right one is this one one will be acute angle one will be obtuse angle obtuse angle or reflex angle we can say 
obtuse angle is up to 180 only this is the reflex angle right if this is theta then what about this one this is the reflex angle right so there are two types of angle will be made pardeep nitya is it clear is it clear okay just a minute okay now what will happen let's say you are given some time given time so you are given some let's say some hour or minute actually the angle will change when the let's say 11 let's say you have 11 23 one second some different angle will come angle will change slightly right but we here we don't care about that because one minute this second one minute is half degree only but we don't hear what we consider here also some angle will be there this angle the let's say this is theta one this is theta two but here also some difference will be there minor difference but this difference we don't consider okay so here we don't we don't have to care about the second we'll be given some time 545 you find the angle then you can ask for second also but this much deep analysis we won't do we do let's say 633 what is the angle so you can answer which 633 633 zero one second 633 zero two but here we only care about this hour and minute time clear is it clear okay now let's say the required angle let's say this one is any something is given and this one is given let's say this is my required angle okay so we'll say required angle so i'll say let's say this is the theta so i'll write 11 by 2 minute minus 30 times hour so what does m represent here m represents for a minute and what does h so and here pay more attention m here h will represent will write from 1 to 12 let's say they are asking what is that angle between 14 15 so here we won't put the 14 sorry here we won't put the 14 what will you put will convert into normal time so whenever the time is that 12 to 18 it is given let's say they can ask 13 15 let's say if they are saying 13 15 what does this mean 115 so here what will you put one will put okay so this this thing you have to pay attention this one is not a problem minute we know right minute will be from 0 to 59 they, are, they will give but this thing you have to pay attention whenever the time in hour is given more than 12 they can give from you see they can give from 1 to 12 no issue if they are giving from 13 to 24 then what you have to convert we have to convert into a standard scale that is from 1 to 12 it is clear so now you talk about let's say they are giving this time now tell me what is the angle when there is a 12 o'clock what is the angle 12 o'clock first one zero degree but how you are able to get it from here 12 o'clock is given then what will you do you see this will be zero so this will be 13 into 12 what you will 360 degree 360 degrees what one revolution full right from here i just want to know from here what analysis you are getting you see 12 this will be zero and here put 12 12 into minus 360 what is minus 360 you started from here right you are going anti-clockwise come came back to same position it means both hand are here only right you should know the analysis also let's see if i give you 530 what is the angle try to find the angle using this formula time is 530 put 530 here then tell me the what is the angle 530 all of you know the formula what is the value of m here 30 right what is the value of a h here 5 put it here and tell me the required angle so there are two types of angle first is i am asking what is the angle between minute and hour and another am i asking hour and minute and tell me both pay attention to the keywords I am asking the angle between minute and hour end. It means first I have to consider minute, then hour. Okay. Or one more thing here, whenever I am considering the angle, I am moving always which direction? Clockwise I am moving. Clear? So minute and hour end. What is the angle? 15 degree. 15 degree. Or hour and minute end? 345. 345 degree. Now think, is it correct? Reverse way. You see minute and hour it means first of all roughly you draw where 5 30 will be this will so minute and hour i'm asking so minute and hour will be this one right got it right and i already told you we will move only in clockwise direction so this one is minute then hour it means i'll move like this so minute and hour will be 
this will be 345 and this will be 15 degree is it clear okay now i'll give one more example so i'll give a couple of examples so you tell me both the answer minute and hour a minute and hour and what is the angle and hour and minute and what is the angle okay online students is it clear nitya hari is pradeep is it clear okay so now i'll give the i'll give the time you just tell me what is the angle so both time you have to calculate you have to tell what is the angle between minute and hour and hour and minute first is 230 second is 1145 so first one here i am writing minute to hour here i'll write hour to minute third one third one is 3 o'clock fourth one is 215 fifth one we have that is 545 sixth one we have that is 830 okay we'll take six only now first one what you have to do just put the plug the values here you'll get the answer first one minute to hour one note here one note five here subtract from 360 because overall angle will be 360 one angle is 105 the remaining angle will be how do you find the reflex angle this one is 105 and this one actually first what you do first of all you have to draw the rough diagram 230 will be something like this this will be 2 and this is if i ask you minute to hour it means this will be greater angle right and this will be hour to minute will be 105 and this angle will be 255 so whenever you get the answer from here let's say you are getting some answer so you don't know which angle is this either this is angle between minute and hour or hour and minute so first of all you need to identify minute to hour it will be greater than 180 or less than 180 right so here 1145 minute to hour what is the angle here 30 in here 330 okay everyone is getting this one only 1145 you see how will you get 1145 11 will come here 45 so minute to hour it will be acute angle 30 degree and rest will be clear okay 3 o'clock minute to hour minute to hour 90 degree for this one 270 degree because 270 plus 90 is 360 degree 215 Zero degree. Zero how zero come because two this hour wind will also move, na. So two fifteen was the answer. Okay, let me ask online students also. Nitya Sri Haris, are you able to follow? Sri Nik Arunaditi, Nitya. Okay, na. Yes. okay see here so what's the angle here 215 angle 215 simply you put the time here what will come 15 here what will come 2 11 into 15 by 2 it may be in decimal form don't worry about that so what will you do 11 into 15 is 11 into 15 by 2 13 what is what's the answer you can write the answer in fraction form also so this one 30 into 2 this one i am asking here only you will apply the formula so 15 will come here and 2 will come here so this is become 16 so 15 into 11 is what 165 over 2 minus 60 so 165 minus 120 upon 2 so what is the answer 45 by 2 so you simply write 45 by 2 but you need to identify 45 by 2 is this angle or this angle that you will get to know only when you draw the actual picture so 215 what will happen so this end will be here and this one so the minute to me this will be from hour to minute so this 45 by 2 will come here is it clear because hour to minute only is acute angle so this will come here and this way this angle will be 360 minus 45 by 2 then you can simplify clear 545 
545 okay let me make it easy so that you get 545 because when you get odd number now so this won't get divided by 2 so when you put even number now it is easy right now all of you try online students are you able to follow everyone note down this formula 11 by 2 into m minus 13 into h okay so let's just which one is that this one or this one ele 5 foot this one 90 and this one 360 minus 92 so what is 360 minus 92 268 at 830 you try 830 what is the angle Eight thirty. So what we have to do is, you just have got the formula eleven by two into m minus thirteen to h. So this will give the angle. But this angle can be between minute to hour end or hour to minute. So from here we cannot say whether this angle is between minute to hour. When we draw the road diagram, then only will come to know. Clear? Yeah. So now tell me what is the angle when time is eight thirty? Negative. Okay. <laughs> Eleven by two into eight minus thirteen to eight. So what is the answer? Forty-four minus two forty. What is the answer? This one. Okay, sorry. So what is the answer you are getting? Final minus one twenty-five. Now you observe what is happening. Minus one twenty-five. First of all, you draw the draw diagram. So you see, eight will come here, and thirty will come here. Someone minus one twenty five. How is it possible? Minus seventy five. You are telling. Okay, this one you are getting. But from here you can say minus seventy five is not possible. Angle will always be positive. But from here you I try to identify minus seventy five. They have calculated. But we know if this angle would have been from minute to end, this angle will be what seventy five degree. You see, minus sign represents this formula is giving the angle between hour to minute. You see, when we move the clockwise, then what is the answer? One way, let's say, if I'm going from clockwise, then I'm considering the angle as positive. But if I move the anti-clockwise, then negative. In trigonometry, also we study where we take the opposite. When we move the anti-clockwise, there will take the positive. But one direction we are considering positive. But you know that this is some angle and that is some angle. But th this minus sign is coming. Minus sign just represents the direction of the clocks. Direction of the hand. If this to this, I am coming or this to. But it means this minus sign tells that this angle is between hour to this one. But anyway, I told I have to take this angle in account. But it means this angle is what seventy five. Then what about this angle? Three sixty minus seventy five, right? So this seventy five degrees angle between minute to hour. This minus sign just shows that this formula calculated the angle between hour to minute. This way, anti-clockwise direction. Clear? So this one is seventy five. Which one is seventy five? This one is seventy five. And what about this one? Three sixty minus seventy five. Two two eighty five. Clear? So hopefully all of you can find the. Now tell me. Okay, I'll ask one question. Next we have perpendicular of hands. At what time? Let's say three o'clock. Both hands will be perpendicular. Between one and two also they will be perpendicular. Two and three also will be perpendicular. Now the question is: In twelve hours, how many times the hands of the clock will be perpendicular to each other? Hence, when I am saying I am talking about minute end and hour end. Now the question is: How many times will the hands of a clock will be perpendicular to each other in twelve hours? Twelve times. So first of all, we we'll draw the diagram. Then we we'll see. We we'll see. We have the clock like this: twelve, one, two, three, four, five. Not minimum. Twelve only. Minimum, maximum, everything. Here, no, no minimum, maximum. In between also. You see, in twelve and one, they will be perpendicular two times. One and two also two times. Two and three also. Between two and four also one time only. Because three, it will be perpendicular, right? So we'll see. One second. Let me draw the diagram first. Then I'll explain. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Right now, here you see what is happening. 
between 12 and 1 they will be perpendicular two times that we'll see using the formula also because why am i telling is actually you know this formula ln by 2 into this is the formula right but if i tell let's say if i give the minute let's say what i want from 12 to 1 when they will be perpendicular okay i just want to know the angle when they will be perpendicular so what can i do i know the value of h what is the value of h 12 i don't know m but i know theta theta is what either i can put 90 or 270 also because 270 is also perpendicular right so i can say when i put 90 degree i'll get the value of minute when i putting 270 degree i'll get the value of minute it means that corresponding to each time i'll get the perpendicular two times are you getting my point let's say i'm give, i'm i just want to know between 12 and 1 how many times they will be perpendicular exact time calculate but i am just giving you the idea so you know in this formula what will you do perpendicular means angle will be either 90 degree or 270 degree because 90 degrees when when you are finding between minute and hand and this one 270 also is possible right so what will i do is when i am sub, i know value of h that is 12 right if if it's the angle is i mean the h value of h is 12 to 1 so i can say it will be perpendicular between 12 to 1 so it means the timing will be somewhere 12 minute 12 hour somewhere minute so value of h is fixed 12 right so now the question is how will i find the value of m so to find the value of m first i can put the 90 degree then i can put the 270 degree when i put the 90 degree i'll i'll get the value of m right when i put the value of when i put the theta equal to 270 degree then again i will get the value of m it means there will be 2 m corresponding to 1 h right it means that between 12 to 1 how many times they will be perpendicular two times 1 to 2 how many times they will be perpendicular two times so likewise here you can see two but here you see this will be perpendicular only at three o'clock only between two and three you put any value there you will see m value will come negative it means negative is not possible between three and four two times between four and five two times here also two times here two times two times here what will happen one time here two and here two now count in a 12 hours how many times they will be perpendicular you add all of them and let's see 20 or 22 just 20 20 you are getting oh here we we forgot to write now here now 20 okay so what is happening is you see 2 to 3 it is going so between 2 and 3 it won't be perpendicular because it will be perpendicular at 3 o'clock that is we know but here you see whenever there is a 2 o'clock it is not perpendicular but when is there is a 3 o'clock it is perpendicular but we can see when i'm passing through 2 and 3 if you put any angle here here you put 90 degree here you put 2 then you'll see m is coming negative what is the meaning of negative negative is not possible it means between 2 and 3 it is not possible so now you can say that what will happen here so in 20, 12 hours how many times they will be perpendicular 22 times right so but in 24 hours how many times they will be perpendicular to each other is it clear or here also i think this will be actual answer when 9 to 10 once it is perpendicular 9 then between 9 and 10 it won't be perpendicular so we can say in 12 hours minute and hour end will be perpendicular 22 times in 24 hours they will be perpendicular how many times 44 times it is clear times okay now i'll give the time and then you tell me between this time at what time they will be perpendicular so i'll give the time at what time i'll just give the question and then you tell me the answer between 5 to 6 5 pm to 6 pm what time they will be perpendicular what time hands will be perpendicular how can we find the time hands will be perpendicular you just give me tell me any time you give me because between 5 to 6 they will be perpendicular two times right so what you have to do is theta is equal to 11 by 2 into 30 into h so first of all what is the theta i can take 90 or 270 also 11 by 2 into m that i have to find right minus 30 into what is the value of h 5 so from here can you get the value of m here can you find the value of m this is 90 30 into 5 is what 150 so 150 plus 90 240 
so this will be something like this right so what is the value of m 480 up over 11 so now tell me 4 this is the answer right so i'll say both will be perpendicular this is the hour this is the minute so i'll say 5 hour 43 7 or 11 minute is it clear if you take 270 then different answer will be there because we know between 5 and 6 they will be perpendicular how many times two times they will be perpendicular is it clear clear okay let's move to the next is it clear so given any time you can find what time they will be perpendicular you just need to keep this formula in mind and here whatever you will put you will put theta equal to 29 sorry 270 degree and theta equal to 90 degree clear okay let's move to the calendar this one is interesting part this one is clear now let's move to the calendar first of all tell me morning time in morning session i had given you a question right we were discussing about leap year right and i had given you two questions 198 2000 and i am asking about whether they are leap year or not and you had given the definition also that leap year is when when the number is divisible by 4 and we all know that the number is divisible by 4 only when its last two digit is divisible by 4 right so it means 1900 is it divisible by 4 yes it is divisible by 4 this number divisible by 4 this number is also divisible by 4 but now the condition is this number is not this year is not leap year this is also not leap year but this is only leap year how but all have the same property all are divisible by 4 but what is happening first two digit also be divisible by 4 yeah that is perfect but we'll see i'll explain first of all actually what is happening is when it comes to the century century it means if i talk about the this century this one will consider 21st century this one actually our we start from this one this one we consider the first century right then we'll move to the one two like this will move right so what is happening when first of all to find the leap year first we divide number by four and then we divide the same number by 400 also sorry 100 also if the number is divisible by four and not divisible by 100 then our divisibility by 4 rules works if the number is divisible, divisible by 100 if it is divisible by 100 then again we have to divide by 400 also 400 means these two digit also must be divisible by 4 but here you are telling ki, yeah, let, yeah, this is not divisible this is only this is divisible that's why it is the leap what 1600 is divisible that's why it is a leap year what am i telling you listen here let's say if i talk about this number 2004 if i talk about this number first of all tell me is it leap year leap year because it is divisible by 4 simple so you are getting the answer but now the condition is if any number is divisible by 4 and at the same time this number is divisible by 100 that time we have to check whether this number is divisible by 400 or not 400 means the first two digit only right it means let let's say if i say 1900 is it divisible by 4 yes it is it is it divisible by 100 yes if any number is divisible by 100 then only we have to pay attention then only we have to divide this number by 400 is it clear so let's say if i ask you 1938 is it leap year or not not leap year if i ask you 1936 is it leap year or not yes because this time we won't say whether one nine because first condition is first of all that number has to be divisible by 100 that will only occur at the century only because 2000 3000 1900 here only we have to be little careful right but if some number is if any between century some number is given let's say this one is it leap year no but if i ask you is it leap year no is it divisible by 4 but at the same time this is divisible by 100 also but if it is divisible by 100 that time we will divide by 400 also 400 or understand 400 also it is not usually this why this is not the leap year clear so now we will discuss some basic and then we will move to the finding the date and all okay
okay let's move to the first first we have one week how many days are there in one week seven days okay then we have months in months how many days are there possible is 28 29 30 and 31 29 will be in 28 and 29 will be in february only right when it will be 28 non leap year or common year i can say and when it will be 29 leap year first thing say very simple okay so now we have to talk about and if i talk about year how many months will be there it depends sorry number of months will be 12 months but the only thing is how many weeks will be there weeks is made of seven days so in a year there will be two possibility either 365 days right or 366 days right when it will have 365 days normal year common year we can say or or can i say non leap year also same thing here right? non leap year common year normal years and 366 will be on leap year right all of you know what is leap year it should be divisible by 4 leap year okay let's talk in 365 days how many weeks will be there divide by so i can say 50 52 weeks plus one day and this one extra day is called the odd day it means how do you find the number of odd day let's say i am giving 52 days now someone is asking what is the num- odd day odd day is when first of all i'll club the days into group of 7 after clubbing the group of 7 whatever is remaining that will be called the odd days zero then no odd day let's say if i say let's say 21 days is there then someone asks how many odd days are there into zero no odd days because first i'll club in the group of 7 after clubbing the group of 7 if something is left whatever the number of days is left that is considered as the odd days clear so this one is only one odd days right so i'll say there is a one extra day that is called the odd day in 360 days what will happen 52 weeks plus two days and these are called the odd days because they cannot form the week they are separate 52 weeks complete group of 7 then extra two days are left they are called the odd days is it clear so far no doubt okay let's move to the let's say if i give you the 105 days is there now i ask you how many odd days are there in 105 first of all what you do divide by 7 then whatever the remainder that will be the odd days how many odd days are there in 105 days zero zero, zero. zero. because 105 is divisible by 7 10 so what you have to do is you can do something like this 105 divided by 7 and find the remainder that is zero you can say r stands for remainder or let's say if i give you 1453 now tell me how many odd days are there 1453 first step you divide by 7 then check for the remainder online students is it clear is it clear for right okay okay now tell me last one this one 2196 days are there how many odd days are there online students any doubt is there nitya harish clear okay how many days are there five odd days so far it is clear right let's move to the next thing next i will discuss let's say if i give the leap year so first of all first of all i am giving let's say you have i am giving you a year then you have to tell whether it is a leap year or not leap year okay so i am giving you some examples okay very good 1938 1900 1200 then 2028 now tell me first one is leap year or non leap year non leap year right so i write and okay or i write c for common common year 1938 non leap year so commonly 1900 got it anyway it is divisible by 4 but still same at the same time it is divisible by 100 also so it has to be divisible by 400 also 1200 leap year right very good leap year this one leap year clear yes divide by 7 simple uh, divide by 4 only how will you check leap year we can easily check 
when it will be divisible, divisible by 100 only last two digit is zero so automatically you come to know whether we have to divide by four or not four also let's say if i ask you okay let's go yeah i don't know when it this year will come maybe some so let's say okay let's write let me write it to two four double zero now if i ask you this is leap year or non leap year leap year why you see first of all is it divisible by four definitely is it divisible by 100 if it divisible by 4 and 100 at the same time it has to be divisible by 400 so already it is divisible by 100 i just have to check whether after removing this it is divisible by 4 or not it is divisible by 4 yes because last digit 24 it means whenever this year comes this will be leap year clear okay so so far clear let's move to the Let's talk about the number of days and all. This one is clear. Let's talk about in leap year what happens. So first of all, we'll talk about the common year. In common year, what happens? We'll say these months, Jan, then will be, then we have March, May, then we'll have July, then we have August, then we have October, and then we have December. In normal year or any year, this will this will have 31 days. Simple, 31 days, right? So it means in 31 days, how many odd days are there? Three odd days are there, right? Clear? 31 days, 28 is separate, three is odd days. So if I ask you, let's say, let me ask you, let's say, first May. 1 May 2022. What was the day? First May, I think Sunday. Sunday. So if I ask you, this one is Sunday. So if I ask you, what is 31 2022? Using this one, you see, two extra days will be there. Here, what is happening? 28. 28. What will be the day? Not Sunday. Saturday. Got it right? After next day. So if there are 31 days, there will be three or days so in that if there are 31 days in that if i want to find the date or day on the last date so what i have to do i have to add two in that so what will come here tuesday now you all of you can check 31st may will be tuesday what it so let's say we don't know august 15th august or whatever let's say for example rough calculation i'm telling let's say first october 2023 is Let's say Tuesday, for example. And then if I ask you 31 October 2023, what is Tuesday plus 2? What it? So this will be Thursday. It means that when there are th total 31 days and you have to find the last day of the date, then what will you do? You will add 2. Because this will be counted in the odd day only. Because you see, first May is this, then 28 May will be what? Saturday only. So 29 only onwards it will start repeating. You see, when we say the cycle of 7, let's say first May is Sunday. Then when next Sunday will come? Not 7th May, it will come on 8th May. So that's why this Sunday will be on, let's say first May. Then what will be the day on 28th May? Saturday only. 29. So this is 29 plus 2. So this 29 only, this, this will be already counted in odd days only. So that's why we are adding 2 only. Is it clear? Why we are not adding 3? Because this Sunday will come in odd day only. Is it clear? Okay. So this will have 31 days. Next, let's talk about the February. How February will have how many days? Fe total number of days. 28 days. If we are talking about the common year, it will have only 28. So how many odd days will be there? Number of odd days there. Then what will happen? Let's say if I talk about, let's say, 1 Feb. 2025 is there let's say that is monday then can anyone tell what will be on 28 feb sunday got it because number of or day zero so that month will end before the before the before the monday comes because monday has to come on 29 but month is ending on 28 so this has to be sunday is it clear okay next we have Remaining are what? March, then we have, I think, April, right? June, then 
September and then November, right? These month will have 30 days. In 30 days, what is happening? How many odd days are there? Two odd days. Two odd days rather. Then what will happen? So here if I ask you, I have to add only plus one. So let's say if I ask you, let's say first June, something like this. First June is when first June will come? Tuesday, then Wednesday, right? Very good. Then what about 30 June? What I have to add? First day. Because here only two odd days are there. One odd day is already present here. So I have to add one. So this will come Thursday. Is it clear? So if I talk, this is for common year. If I talk about the leap year, what will change? Only this will change. Rest will be same. These three, three, six, seven. Seven will have 31 days. How many odd days will be there? Two. So first day is given. How do you find the last day? Add two plus two. Here what we'll do? Subtract one. Right? Subtract one. Because there is no odd day. Here what we do? When the number of days is 30 plus one. So this way you can get it. This one is simple. Now, leap year February will be 20. No, no. Leap year February will be 29. So same day. Yeah. So let's say if I talk about, let's say 1 February 2024 is Actually, this is not the actual data. Simply, I am writing. Right? Then first we learn. Actually, when we are given the date, we can easily find the day also that we learn. First, now I am giving you the just example. Let's say if I ask you 1 Feb is Tuesday, then what will be 29 Feb? Tuesday only. Because how many, if this, this is the leap year, right? In leap year, how many days we have? 29. How many odd days there? 1. So that odd day is this one only, right? Is it clear? Any doubt is there? Online strengths, is there any doubt? Online strengths. Let me check. Online strengths, do you have any doubt? Nitya, Haris, is it clear so far? Okay, let's move to the next. Okay. So let's move to the next one. This one is clear, right? So month and all you can do it. Now let's talk about this one. Just a minute. Okay. So what is happening? Let's see if I talk about 1 Jan 2022. What was the day? I think Sunday, right? So now if I ask you, what will be the day on 31 December 2022? So first of all, all of you try to find out what is happening. When there is no leap year, then what will happen? How many no leap year? How many odd days are there? One. Same thing will appear. Is it clear? So what happens when the first day of the first month is given? And when it is no leap year, then the last day will be same. Clear because one old day is there, one old day is that only. Because let's say we are starting from this, then 20 52 weeks has gone, the next will be Sunday only. So this will be clear. This, for example, if this is Monday, then this will be Monday. Actually, I don't remember first January is Sunday only, right? Then we'll see. First, we'll learn the formula, then we can easily calculate. Let's say if I ask you 1 January 1600, for example, let's say this has to be. Let's consider this as a Friday. Now tell me what will be 1 December or oh, not uh, 31 December. Saturday. Because this time how many odd days are there? Two odd days are there. So this time we'll add. Okay. Is it clear? So when there is a leap year. So when there is a known leap year. Then the first day of the month and last, first day of the year and the last day of the year will be same. When it is the leap year, then there will be the difference of one. It is because of the number of odd days. Because there are number two odd days. One odd day is already there. Then we will add only plus one. Here it will be same. Is it clear? Now we learn. Hopefully this one is clear. So now just a minute. Let's say I will give some examples. Just a minute. Okay, let's say, okay, I'll ask. Let's say 16th August, 16th August, 2022, day is given. This is Wednesday. This is Wednesday. Now you tell me 
what will be the day on 25 december all of you try what will be the day on 25 december all of you try 16 august so what you are supposed to do is you have to just count the number of odd days once you get the number of four days you, your task is very simple so what you do is 16th august is wednesday then what will be the day on 25 december so first of all what will you do what what is first step first you find the number of odd days right so first of all what you will do you will make the list you will say august september october november december here how many days are left in august is what you see 16 is there august is 31 or 31 so how much will get 15 september 30 here 31 here 30 here not 31 here 25 only so first of all first step you do is divide or add all of them add all of them so this is how I just want to know how many how many days are there until I reach 25 December. So it means 131. First of all, divide by 7. So 5 odd days are there. It means that I have to add plus 5 into this. Simple, right? 5 odd because this is where I am not considering this one because 16 I have left it, right? Are you able to understand my point? 16 I left. After 16 only I am counting. So this time I add 5, not 4. Is it clear? Because you see 16 August I am talking about, but here I am writing 15 only because after 16 only I am counting the number of four days. So if five four days are there, then what will I do? Can I say Wednesday plus five? Wednesday plus five? Monday. So this will give me Monday. Is it clear? Let's move to the next question. Next question they are telling, let's say 15 this. When, huh? Same thing, right? Yeah, that also you can do. Yeah, Wednesday plus 5 and Wednesday minus 4. Yeah. Okay, this one is clear. Let's move to the next. Next time giving, let's say 15 December is Saturday. 15 December is Saturday. So here I am going from left to right. 15 December is Saturday. Now if I asking, what is the day on 14 September? Now you all of you try. What will be the day on 14 September? So here also you do, will do the same thing. We forget about Saturday and all. Let's say this one is not given. You again start from here only. So now you count the number of days divide by 7. Let's say this is coming. Let's say the difference is coming 3. So how you got 3? Add it, this into 3. Then you subtract 3. So first of all you try to find the number of odd days from 14 September to 15 December. Try to find the number of odd days from 40, 14 September to 15 December. So you see what will happen. So 16 in September, then October, then November, what will happen? Then December 15. What is the sum? Sum. 7, 12, 1, 2, 5, 8, 9. 92 you are getting? So 92 by 7, what is the remainder? 1 only, right? Remainder is 1. It means that Let's say if this would have been given, for example, if this would have been given, then this would be this plus one is Saturday. Then this will be what? Friday. Because if this is given, then this plus one is Saturday. Then this would be Friday. Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? Okay. Next I'll ask. A little difficult. So all of you pay attention. Let's say 22 June, 22nd June. 1992. This one is given. That is Tuesday is given. And let's say they are asking what will be 22nd June 1996. All of you try this. First thing is you just have to count the number of old days. So how many old days are there? First of all, see, we are talking about 1992 to 1996. So each year, if it's the odd year, sorry, if it is the common year, how many odd days will be there? One. So first of all, first of all, how will you solve? But yeah, this is leap year. Yeah, both of them they are leap year. This one won't won't come. This one will come in leap year category or not leap year? Yeah, yeah. So try to solve this question. How can we solve? 
because this one won't consider because already we have crossed this one right so from here we are counting na because leap year is when let's say january it means leap that will affect but here it will not affect right so it means this will only be considered as the leap year so first of all tell me let's say you see 1996 minus 1992 it means there will be difference of 4 years so each year how many leap year will be there sorry each year how many odd days will be there one no totally four totally four will be there why because you see in year year 365 days is there one odd day so four years how many four odd day four but again this 1996 is what leap year so one so four plus one five days now what will i do tuesday plus five so what will i do tuesday plus five what is tuesday tuesday plus five sunday simple i'll give one more question let's say 22nd may is given let's say 22nd may is sunday and let's say what 2022 next we have then you tell me 22nd may 2026 what will happen so first of all four will come 2026 may to the now how many leap year is there only one which is 2024 So what will happen again? Four plus one. So what is the answer? Five. So what will you do? Sunday plus five. What will happen then? Friday. Very good. Okay. Next question. Fifteenth August two thousand two is given. That is, let's say Wednesday. Fifteenth August. This is Wednesday. Now tell me fifteenth August two thousand five. What will happen? So first of all, count the odd days. Is there any leap year in between? Yes. Two thousand four. So first of all, what's the difference? Three odd days because there will be three non leap years. So three plus one because you see two thousand five minus two thousand two. So you can consider like this also if you want to consider two, three, four, and five. Here you see how many odd days will be there? One odd days here, one here, two. What it? And here. Here no odd day will be there because here is two thousand five minus because here we have not completed the year so here we'll get the three but because there is a one leap year so I'll add three plus one four so where I'll add Wednesday plus four Wednesday plus four is Sunday clear is it clear okay now we we'll learn how can let's say if I give any random date fifteenth August nineteen forty four what was the day so for that trick we we'll learn now okay so far is there any doubt No doubt. Okay. Now we we'll learn if any date is given. So how we can find the day? So for that some code is there that you are supposed to remember. It is not that difficult. Once you remember, then you can easily find out. So first of all, I am writing here. I am writing day. In here, some code is there. This code will help us in finding the day. So we start with the Saturday. All of you write this one. Saturday. Then we have Sunday. Then Monday. Tuesday. Then Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday is there. So here, what will I do? Write from zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. No, no doubt. It's just the thing is we have to start from Saturday. Now we'll write the code for month also. This one is for code for day. Now we'll write the code for month also. First, you all of you write. Then I'll explain you how to use this table. Here we have Jan. Feb, March, April, May, June. Then we have July, August, September, October, November, December. Right. So for this code is given one four four zero two one four four zero two five zero three. Five zero three six one four six one four six clear. This one is clear. Next century code is also given. That I'll explain. First of all, all of you make this table. Then I'll explain. Century code is also given. So in century we'll be having one seven double zero, one eight double zero, one nine double zero, two thousand. The code is four two zero. Six. So three things. First one is very easy to remember. Just start from Saturday to 
Friday, zero to six. This one little little bit difficult, but once you start using, actually, you'll just you'll it will be very handy for you. January first, February four, March four, April, and like this. And this is this will work whether the year is leap year or non leap year. And this is code. Let's see if I'm talking about two thousand forty one. So I have to use code six. If I'm talking about one thousand nine hundred something, I have to use this. 1800 this two this one four so now what is the formula first of all i have to write the day like which day i am talking about if i say 23 april so 23 then i have to write the month then i have to write the year year means last two digit only then i have to write the leap year and then i'll write the century code starting it may seem difficult then it will be very easy only once i give the example so all of you write this formula let's say i want to know 15th august 1947 15th august what was the day independence day right now we want to know from saturday to friday so first step what we'll do day what is the day 15 so i'll write 15 then what is written august oh, corresponding to august what is the code 3 what is the year last two digit it means 1947 is 46 plus leap year here they are talking about how many leap year has come before 1947 if we start from 1900 1900 is not leap year then when leap year will come multiple of 4 so 0 4 8 so 11 leap year will come you see 1900 is no leap year so we are talking about leap year is between that century you forget about their century which century is this one 1900 you forget about 1900 after 1900 to this date how many leap year has come 1900 is gone then 1904 8 all the table of 4 will come 4 to 40 then 44 it means how many leap year has come 11 leap years and what is the century code i am talking about 19 so century code will be 0 divided by 7 so 15 plus 3 18 what what is the answer 76 by 7 so this is 76 by 7 now tell me what is the remainder here 6 6 right if remainder is 6 corresponding to code 6 search for the day friday so that will be friday we'll check for today also whether this formula is correct today is what 22nd may right so all of you try first of all what will write day what is the day 22 plus month which month is this may may month what is the code 2 so we'll write 2 plus year last two digit so that will be 22 leap year forget over 2000 after 2000 how many leap year has come 2002 4 8 12 16 20 that's all 5 so i'll write 5 plus century what is the code for century this one 6 divided by 7 add all of them what will you get add all of them i think 58 you will get What you are getting? 57 you are getting? 57, right? Are you getting 57? 57 is by 7. Remainder will be 1. If remainder is 1, then what is the day? And what is today? Okay. Next. Let's talk about 27 April 2022. Okay. And first of all, you can do one thing also. Write your date of birth and try to find the day. This will be best exercise, right? Write your date of birth and try to find the day. So first of all, if you try 27 April 2022. And next you try 25 December 2022. All of you try this one and this one also. If there is any doubt, you can ask. Day, all of you know. Month code, you can copy from here. Year, what you have to do? Last two digits you have to write. Leap year, all of you got it, right? What is leap year? After that year, how many leap years has come? So you don't have to care about the century. After the century. So all of you to tell what is 27 April? What was the day? And 25 December. And after then write your date of birth and then. So first of all, day is with 27. Then month corresponding to April, what code you will take? Then year, last two digit of the year. Then leap year, how many leap year is there? Up to 2022, 5. 5. And then century code? 
six. Simple. Is it clear? And after this, all of you do one thing: write your date of birth and try to find the day on which you were born. What? This one? This this? Wednesday. I think I am getting Wednesday because the sum is sixty, right? Sixty by seven, four. Remainder is four, corresponding to four. I think Wednesday. This one? You got Friday? How? Wednesday is correct. I am also getting. I think here you have done mistake. April. What is the code here? You also got. You put zero only. But still, no. Answer should. Plus. Yeah. So sum is sixty. Sum is sixty, right? The sixty-two. How? Or oh, let me add twenty-seven. Yeah, sixty only. Thirty-three plus twenty-seven is what? Sixty. Clear? So all of you write your date of birth and try to find your birth day when you were born. This one is clear. I'll explain again. Day is the day is being asked. Month is code of the month. Year means last two digit. Let's say it's nineteen forty-seven to forty-seven. Year means oh this one leap year means how many leap year has come before that? Century code is you take it from here. But you can ask, sir, what if they are asking about one six double zero? Then how will I get the century code? They can ask now. Let's say they can ask twenty second May one four six one. Now what was that day? So how what how will you do in that case? You see what formula will apply? First of all, the last two digit I will divide by four. Last two digit divide by four. Seventeen divided by four. What is the remainder? One. If remainder is one, so I'll say first of all to find the century code. What will I do? I don't have to worry about this two zero. I just have to worry about the first last two digit. First two digit. So what will I do? I divide this two digit by four, and then I'll check for the remainder. What is the remainder here? If remainder is one, then my code will be four. In this case, what will the remainder? Two. Remainder is two, then my code will be two. If remainder is three, then my code will be zero. If remainder is zero, then my code will be six. Likewise, I can do right. So it means that if I ask you what is this day, so first of all, what will come? Twenty second. Then May. Where is May? Two. So I'll get two plus last two digit. So sixty one. Leap year. Now tell me one four double zero two one four six one. How many leap years has come? Fifteen. Or what? We start from four, so we can say four to forty, then forty four, then. You can simply do sixty divided by four, so fifteen leap years. You see one to sixteen, so leap year will come when the multiple of four is there. Sixty by four, how many leap years? Fifteen. So here I'll get fifteen. And what will the century code now? You tell me. Fourteen divided by four. Fourteen divided by four. What will come? Remainder is two. So code will be two divided by seven. Now tell me what will the answer? This is four. Twenty-six plus fifteen plus sixty-one by seven. Now tell me what is the answer? Sixty plus two eighty ninety or I think one hundred two. One hundred two. Everyone is getting one hundred by two. What is the remainder now? Three. Remainder is three. Then what will be there? Tuesday. Perfect. Right. So now all of you write your date of birth and then find the day. With this we. Everyone got it. So everyone can write. So this this way you can easily starting it will be difficult. You see the only thing is you have to remember this code. This one century code is fairly simple. Four two zero six. Remainder is one four two zero six. Starting your learning it will take some time. After two or three days you will become comfortable with this. Easily you can do this. Day code is very simple. Only month code is little difficult. Like how will you memorize one four four zero two five zero three six? Here also some symmetry is there. You see one four four. One four six, zero two three zero three six, right? Likewise, you can remember, right? One four four, zero two five zero three six one four six. Here, then you don't have to worry about whether that year it is being asked whether it's a leap year or non leap year because that that constant we have taken here, LP. And counting the leap year is not difficult. If I ask you, one five three two before one five three two, I okay. 
in between how many leap years has come what you do before 32 what comes 30 30 divided by 4 7 what you do is because you know 1500 to 1532 this is 32 year difference right 32 divided by 4 8 because but this is the eighth leap year so in between seventh leap year so counting this is not that difficult if you think right you if i ask you 1996 how many leap years has come with 1900 and 1966 how many leap years has come so what will do you divide 96 by 4 23 this is 23rd leap year so in between how many leap years is 22 so simple you can put 20 yes so sorry sorry uh, this is 23 okay this was this will be 24 then 24 minus 1 23 is it clear so counting the number of leap year is also not that difficult so this formula will work when you have whether that year is leap year or non leap year. and when was when was the gandhiji's birthday anyone 2 october 1869 everyone remembers this one 2nd october 1869 now tell me what was the day on this day 2nd October 1869, everyone. And with this, we will end our lecture. 2 October 1869. So first of all, 2 will come. Then month. October, what is the 1? Again, 1. Very good. Year, 69. Leap year, 69 by 4. 69 by 4, what will be done? 16, right? 17. Leap year will be 17. Because you divide 69 by 4, then what will happen? 17 point something so 17 are leap years because so 17 leap years century code will be what 2 divided by 7 check for the remainder and the remainder you have right 0 to 6 online students is it clear 4 only 4 ok so try to find the day on which Gandhiji was born Friday. Everyone getting Friday? Okay, let's wait for others' answer. Saturday, Friday. The number we are getting that if that is divisible by 7, then code is 0, then Saturday. Saturday, right? So if you know this code, you see, starting it may seem little difficult, but you see how many things are there to memorize. Simple. Month code and century code. Century code is 4 to 0, 6, all of you know. And this one also, leap year also I told how to count the number of leap years between two years, given years, right? So now you can easily do this, right? Okay, let's talk about one last question. Let's say, when was the first Republic Day? When was the first Republic Day celebrated? 26th, 1950. Now tell me, day, that's all. With this, we'll end our lecture. Is it clear, everyone? Haris, Nitya. Okay, so with this, we'll end our lecture and assignment will post in the group. So all of you try to solve the assignment. Clear? Clear?